ask you a question. So going going to that day, uh, all the stuff that we found out since that day, um, we, what, what we found out, Rob, that uh, they knew apparently they had information intelligence for a year that it was going to happen. The day that it happened, apparently all the defenses were down. Hamas got to run rampant for six hours. Uh, mayhem. They asked John Kirby went up and one of the reporters from Fox asked, how did you guys not see this with all the intelligence? And he said, and I quote, now is not the time. Since October, it's not what? Three months, October, November, December. We're in January right now. They still don't know. Um, we f- saw this thing called the Jericho Wall where Israel, a leaked document where Israel already had a plan of what to do with all these, uh, uh, all the displaced people. They want to send them all uh, to Egypt and all the countries and, and the United States. Uh, Bibi Netanyahu was on a video saying how he could do whatever he wants in Gaza because Americans are gullible and he could do whatever on the, on the home video. Basim, what what do you... Do you have an opinion on the knowledge, the pre-knowledge of this was going to happen and the fact that they got to wait, they got to do whatever they want for six hours with one of the sickest military, sickest intelligence? Do you think like they knew, they let it happen? What, what's the, how do you feel about? I, I don't, I'm no military exp- expert at all, but like f- watching this, the fact that they've been doing this for six hours and this is the most guarded border ever. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't even, you can't even have a dog pass by without being shot. And this, these walls has been tried and, and, and tested. And the fact that they gain and they continue, like, it, the, 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 the wall by itself is seven meters up, seven meters down the ground. It's one of the most fortified borders ever. And then you go in, the Apaches didn't even appear until after six hours. That's, that doesn't and, make sense. And you understand, like, how Israel and Gaza and all of these, these are, like, very small. Mm-hmm. These are like very small. This is like a, a, a plane can be there in two minutes. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I mean, these are the questions that uh, I, I don't want to go into conspiracy theories, but these are the questions that has the Israeli community has been asking. This kind of failure. A lot of people inside, again, conspiracy theories. I don't know. Why, I don't want to adopt any of them. It's like it's because of BB was having a lot of pressure from his Supreme Court, so he wanted something to kind of like divert it. And you know, when people want to divert something, like they make a conflict. Mm-hmm. But it kind of like it it it, 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 it got out of hand. Mm-hmm. And the fact you can go in, lily willy, with very primitive uh, weapons and go in inside of Israel and come up. I mean, just a year ago, there were 50 Palestinians that were killed by snipers just because they came in closer to the, to the border and they were like holding flags. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they go in and you see like all of these military uh, bases empty for the taking and coming back with with cars and with people and with hostages, I mean, if I'm an Israeli citizen, I would be pissed. Of course, I want answers. I, mean, I, so I, 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 I would, I would, I would, I would like to have some answers. So I, I don't know. Comment if you agree or not, or just have any thoughts on this expression. Please avoid abusive use of language and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thank you.